she is. Um, I was saying to Mike earlier when we were uh, looking over the car, <laughs> the, uh, all the, the vents on it, so you can see just behind, uh, next to the tail lights there, right underneath them, uh, in the door on the fender, they're all fake vents. Um, Toyota put them there so that the aftermarket could uh, put in vents for things like oil coolers and things like that, so when people start upgrading it, um, the, the vent locations were already there, which is absolutely fantastic. So it's a, it's a car that, from Toyota, is built to be upgraded. Yes. Uh, so which segues on beautifully, it doesn't does. it? <laughs> yeah. we, Maybe we, we should we, do that now. We take a look at some of the upgrades. Yep. So uh, we'll have a body kit or two. So we've got the fantastic Toyota Heritage kit. Um, I really like this kit. The Toyota unveiled this at SEMA 2019. This is one of my favorite parts of it. The rear bumper changes the tail lights oh, to wow. be like the uh, well, the Mark V Supra, and then the side skirts as well. And I absolutely, absolutely adore this kit. I think it works really well with the with the lines of the car. But of course, this being Horizon, gotta have the wide body kit. <laughs> oh, you gotta. <laughs> so no decal here. We're, uh, uh, this is a dev build, but this is a HKS wide body kit, and uh, it's lacking something on the back, I think, isn't it? It is. It's just a little understated, almost. <laughs> I think, yeah. There we go. Is that wing? There we enough? go. I think I, that wing's. That enough, might isn't just it? do. <laughs> and I think uh, we also need some wheels to go with this as well, don't we? So let's jump in and put some wheels on it. So again, we've got a bunch of blank thumbnails here. Uh, these are all the new wheels. All the blank ones are all the new wheels coming to uh, Forza Horizon 5. And my favourite ones are right at the bottom. Nice set of work yeah, wheels. So blank because Chris has not yet fully set them up, but we thought we'd, we'd show you these <laughs> yeah. anyway. Uh, one of the really cool things about the Supra is that this will be one of the cars that is given to every player right at the start of the game. And it'll come delivered with that uh, Toyota Heritage yeah. kit as well in it. So yeah, it's uh, everyone gets this right at the start of the game because it's an absolutely awesome car. Nice little gift. So let's, uh, let's pop that body kit on it then, shall we? And then should we, should we take it for a drive? I think we better. I yeah. think we should. And in fact, it's probably worth pointing out here, because um, I know I've seen this question come up loads of times in chat, but we're actually playing this on an Xbox Series X today, aren't we? Absolutely. We are playing it on an Xbox Series X. I think there was a, a lot of confusion about which version of the game we were showing. So yeah, all, everything we've shown so far has been Xbox Series X. This is a, a development build, so there, there may be bugs. Uh, there may be missing thumbnails. There may, there may well That's be other things that we'll spot. part of the fun, isn't if, it? If they're funny, we'll call them out. Otherwise, <laughs> we'll just hope that you don't spot them. <laughs> <laughs> So let's get this on the road then. What is it we're going to be doing? Uh, we're going to be exploring some new biomes, aren't we? Ooh, yes. yes, of course. So which one have we got first? Well, we're starting in the Rocky Coast. Shall okay. we uh, swap out Chris for the Connor? Oh, yeah, let's do it. OK, so Chris is actually going to hop off screen now so he can drive without distraction. Ergo, uh, us two. Uh, so instead of taking his face on the sofa, it's going to be Connor Cross. So Connor, if you want to come in, and Chris, if you want to go into your concentration corner. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Very good. The, the smoothest of transitions. <laughs> Hello, Connor. As if by magic. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Would you like to tell us more about the Rocky Coast? Uh, yes, the Rocky Coast. Um, oh, do we need to pan? We, if we can just uh, dip, dip, dip away while we do some, Chris does some, we do some <laughs> magic behind the scenes. <laughs> second, there we go. There, there we go. There is. The um, <laughs> now, uh, yeah, this is, this is situated on the west coast. Um, it is rocky and it is a coast. There we go. Uh, so there's Nailed lots it. of sea, lots of rocks. We captured this in particular um, on a tourist boat, funnily enough. We had photographers actually go round each of these rocks and you know, capture hundreds of photos of photogrammetry. If Chris looks to the left, you can actually see some of the... Uh, that's the right. <laughs> <laughs> is that the boat? Is that it there? Yeah, the, yeah we, we have actually put the boat in the game. In the game, that is, uh, <laughs> comparable to the boat that yeah. we used to capture, <laughs> capture the rocky coast. Um, so all, all of this, as we, uh, we mentioned it a few times, but all this stuff's created with photogrammetry as well. So it's mm -hmm. super accurate to real life, which is why it looks so amazing. Um, should we take it for a spin, Chris, in your heavily modified Supra? In its natural environment on the beach. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. So how do you actually go about making this area for the game, then? What are the fundamental um, elements of the rocky coast? So if, we, if you want to go left here, actually, Chris, um, we can go past some more rocks up close. Um, so <laughs> we, we basically just we work out how we want to make it drivable, where we want uh -huh. the car to go, and what's, what's most fun for the player to explore. Uh, and then, uh, like we said, we, we, we put a lot of photographers in a boat. They took loads of photos of rocks. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you know, the, the team you know, recreated that as realistically as together, possible. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then that's, that gave us our rocky coast. It wasn't as easy as that. Uh, was, <laughs> so Simplified it a bit. <laughs> there were some geniuses behind the scenes pulling it all together. So, some of the cool features, which are a little bit further off from the coast over there, are like hotels, golf clubs. It's like a really like a pristine, like beautiful yeah. holiday location. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
Yeah. And so now, now we're actually heading into the sand, uh, like the sandy desert. Mm -hmm. um, there's big, big, you know, massive sand dunes to go drive around on. Um, it also actually connects, it like goes straight and like dissolves into the ocean, which is, which is really cool. Okay. Um, and yeah, if you go, yeah, swing your right in here, and we can actually go into some of the sand dunes. Um, That's stunning. So we're actually, uh, it's actually an autumn season, which is our stormy season. We're uh -huh. at a nice, uh, foggy, atmospheric morning. Um, and I think it, the lighting's quite cool because it kind of helps show off just how soft that sand is. We've, it does, it looks really, really fine. You can really go in there and, you know, deform around in it and kick yeah. up loads of sand. Um, probably not the best thing to do in this car, though. <laughs> we'll stick on the <laughs> tarmac. Have a go, though. <laughs> um, as you call out the tarmac, this is an area of the world where there are just these really long, yeah. sweeping roads as well. It's a, it's the perfect place when you've got like hypercar and you just want to get up to the absolute max on the rev limiter. Mm -hmm. so, uh, this is the place to go. Now this looks less like a sandy desert. Are we still in it? Is this another feature of a sandy desert? Um, so this is Chris, the, is Chris has gone a little bit off the uh, agreed <laughs> path here. Um, <laughs> um, we're actually we'll going to that area in a moment. We're actually going into into a gypsum desert now. Um, oh, I see. It's this really fine mineral uh, that's like you know diamond white. Um, I think it's carcinogenic, isn't it? Yeah, yeah probably better <laughs> so not to go there in real life. But um, in a video game, uh, you're you protected yeah. from any ill health effects. All tourism to be done within yeah. Forks Horizon 5, then. Um, yeah, it's, it, it, it's, it looks great in different times of day as yeah. well. It uh -huh. just picks up all that different coloured light coming, from, coming through the sunlight. So you get all those beautiful reds at sunset and blues in the morning. This just looks like the best place to go racing. Are, are there any races that are actually found up around here? Uh, of course, yes, there are. Yeah. Uh, there's there's a lot of really awesome off-road uh, trails through here as well, like really mm -hmm. long point to points. Uh, and I think Chris is about to show us uh, another cool Ooh, little, uh, yeah. racing environment as well. Um, if we, if we hang on. So left at yeah, that wow. tree. You can so, kind of already get a sneak peek yeah. of it on the mini map. If you resist the urge to jump off the edge, we can we can just just go to the very edge and then just peek over at the Baja circuit. Oh, look at that. <laughs> no, I'm trying to get a over the edge. Um, <laughs> and yeah, that, that that's just, that is fun. A, there's some really great routes around that, in and around it as well. Mm -hmm. um, that was also actually recreated from, from photos. Our team actually went and found some satellite data of, you know, recreated the roads and how they look and how the sand actually changes colour, which is so cool. which is really cool as well. We'll take a closer look at that in a, in a future stream, I think. Yeah. Uh, now we have left the uh, Gypsum yeah. Desert and very mm -hmm. much in the Living Desert. Yeah. Here we go. So what's this then? What is li the living desert for those people who might not be familiar with that term? So this is based on the Baja California desert. Um, it is, it's kind of contrary to what most people think of a desert and that it's, there is sand, but there's an absolute ton of foliage. There's mm -hmm. all these lovely, like, you know, thick mesquite bushes everywhere. There's loads of these, like, yellow uh, and celia bushes. Um, Chris Rocks. Is, Chris, Chris is lost. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you okay, mate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, just taken aback by all the cacti. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so there's, there's lots of different cacti. Um, we have all these weird alien-type plants called boojum. Um, those things there that Chris has smashed through. Um, <laughs> this was all planned, <laughs> wasn't it, Chris? <laughs> um, well, that's the excuse. Yeah. Uh, there's all these really cool little settlements as well. Mm -hmm. um, they've all got their own little story there as well, and they you know, really feel like they're part of the world. Uh, uh, really, really true to sort of Mexican towns and things that we found in the area. I'm mm -hmm. um, remembering what you said in previous streams as well, and like that volcano is just always looming, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Um, where Chris just took a little detour, actually, there is a, there's a really nice trail that goes uh -huh. up there that um, is even funner coming down the other side. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> there's, there's all these like a fantastic, great big rock. Um, you know, there's all these big rock walls here to go, you know, jump off and skirt around, <laughs> but there's all these big rock structures. Um, that they're, re they're really like, dominating in the environment as well, that you just suddenly come around the corner and there's this massive thing of geology. Um, yeah, I think we're actually, yeah, we're just about to go into another little bit of biome, which is um, this sort of lava, um, like an oh, old yeah. lava desert that um, from years ago when the volcano um, did its thing. Uh, it <laughs> did that volcano thing. It did the, the volcano thing, here, yes. And now that lava is rocks. And, uh, <laughs> Yeah, and that, that's just like another another difference to the visual of the environment. And that's full of all these big volcanic rocks that you can skirt in and around, and um, that's really cool. Yeah, I think just, I mean, we've said it already, but just the, the pure density of yeah. foliage here. There's just so many separate yeah. bits that come in here to make this scene just mm -hmm. feel so full of yeah. life. 
and you could see them coming as well. When we went through like the sand desert, and we were coming yeah. up to Liz the. Li I said lizard desert. <laughs> I'm sure lizards live there. <laughs> anyway, the living desert, you could just see it approaching because suddenly like, it just got thicker mm. with, with all the foliage going on. Look at that. So this is actually, yeah, Chris, if you stop and we just sort of pan around, um, you can see all the, the detail that's gone into the roads this game. Mm. Um, <laughs> 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 they say no, keep Hool going. Hooligan driver tires. <laughs> um, <laughs> So there's actually a seasonal river here because this is a riverbed that uh, in autumn floods because it's uh, it's the stormy season. But um, yeah, like all all that detail and the roads really cool. Oh, um, cracks. It also when it, some some areas where it's really sandy, those cracks actually fill up with sand, which mm -hmm. is, which is a nice touch. So yeah, photo mode's going to be um, give a lot of options for the photographers out yeah, there absolutely. to get some cool environments. Um, but yes, yeah, I think there's a yeah there is a sand road around here that will um, will show off some of the cool UV effects that um, the team have done. Mm -hmm. Um, we've really focused on um, tyre smoke and making sure that all of the like the dust, dust kick up feels really full and voluminous. Mm -hmm. um, it feels like it's you know lit from loads of, well, it is lit from loads of different angles now. It's a big entity in the world. Um, and, Such a cool detail. And and for the drifters out there, when you're on tarmac, um, the the tyre. I mean, Chris actually. I think Chris helped implement the system. Um, it. Uh, the tires are actually, or well, the tire smoke is related to heat, mm -hmm. okay. based on how how hot the tire would be, it kicks off how, that amount of smoke, uh, just just to add an, another layer of, of realism in there. Um. I think Chris going first person now, responding to some requests from chat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at it. Yeah, and of course that, that tire heat as well is affected by seasons. Exactly. So yeah. in, in the hotter seasons, your tires heat up faster, you get more more drift kick up. Yeah. Um, and, and in a car like this as well, it's uh, just perfect for it. Yeah. Lovely. Awesome. Well, that was amazing. And those are the biomes we're going to talk about today. But you do have another race to show us like you did last time. You're spoiling us. So what is it we're going to be going and looking at now?